What should I look for when buying a food trailer? So in this video from Food Truck Freaks, we're gonna give you the five things you need to understand before you make the purchase to get a food trailer instead of a food truck. We're gonna dive into those five from number five all the way down to number one. We're gonna get to that right now. All right, so welcome back to Food Truck Freaks. It is Damian Roberti, founder and CEO of Food Truck Freaks and Marketing Food Online. We have several food entrepreneur channels here on YouTube. Definitely check out the links down below to find out those other channels. But in this video, let's jump right into it. I'm gonna give you five things you need to kind of be mindful of when you want to buy a food trailer and why these things are so particularly important. And I'm actually gonna go from five all the way down to number one. And number one, you definitely wanna stick around for all the way to the end of the video. And keep in mind at the end of the video, we've got three more free resources you can definitely check out on our channel. All right, so let's not waste any more time. So number five, you need to give some thought to your available storage space. You need to understand how much storage space you may actually need. So you need to have a clear concept of how much space you'll require in your concession trailer before you actually rent one or even buy one. So when it comes to storage, some things to keep in mind are things like, what kind of food are you going to be making? Like what is your menu? Because actually the type of ingredients and menu you're gonna have on your food trailer will dictate the size of storage you're going to need for those products. Whether it actually is refrigerated or even just canisters or containers holding items that don't need to be kept at um, refrigeration or frozen temperatures, you need to be aware of what's on your menu because that's gonna give you a good indication of the type of storage. So how many customers do you also think you're going to get at different events? This is crucial to understand before you sign the dotted line for any event. You need to do a little bit of research and find out annually if this is an event that goes every single year, how many customers do you potentially think you're going to get? Also, with that in mind, that's going to help you understand how much storage space you will potentially need to have as well, not just your ingredients. Now, what specific kinds of storage do you require outside of that? What I mean by that is your small wares, your paper plates, your cups, your, your, uh, your forks, knives, the disposables, all of your napkins. Those also, by the way, need to be stored. So you need to understand how many people are going to be there. And in addition to your ingredients, your other small wares have to have storage space. So when it comes to running that eff effective food truck trailer, that is able to keep customers fed and satisfied. Having the appropriate number of kind of storage is very, very essential. Now let's go on to number four. So you want to think about the customers that you're going to serve. So who are you actually going to be serving? Number four is your customers. So the type of food that you intend to sell will have a significant impact on the kind of food trailer that you're going to need. Now, it is essential to have the most effective layout as well as the suitable equipment to go along with this, guys. You gotta keep that in mind. The trailer that you choose out of, you need to make sure you have enough room inside of it in the appropriate configuration for anything that you will be selling. Now, depending on the types of food that you intend to provide, you may require various amenities such as sinks, you're gonna may have uh, smokers, potentially fryers, uh, freezers, refrigerators, and even perhaps more than that as far as equipment. So keep that in mind too. So when looking for a food trailer, it is important to ex explicitly look for the requirements because not all trailers actually meet the same needs. You should solicit the opinion of probably about three or four different uh, trailer companies. Don't get just one quote and even check with your health department. So it may be necessary to obtain particular permits in order to operate specific food trailers that may have certain sizes. Keep that in mind as well. Number three. So now you want to decide what kind and what format is the most suitable for the layout of your concession. Now let's get into the dimensions. So a food trailer concession dimensions and layout should be tailored to match your requirements and precisely the type of food that you're going to sell. Remember, not all food trailers are going to be the same. The layout, the size, the width, the length, they all vary. So different types of concession trailers are available, including ones that are extended, oversized, or even much elongated, okay? The appearance, the location, and operation of any food trailer definitely needs to be considered when you are thinking about the style and the layout of your particular food trailer. Number two. Choose between a new or used food trailer. So now you do have the option of getting a used trailer. Now the a few things to think about though, is you wanna make sure that even though it's used, it may be a great price, you wanna ensure that it's functioning properly because if you buy one and you have to redo the incomplete electrical work, 
that's going to be expensive. If you buy a food trailer that may have the type of equipment you need, is it even functioning properly? If not, you may have to redo that as well. Again, making a used trailer much more expensive. So also when you get a brand new trailer, you have a tendency to get a warranty with that. And that covers that brand new trailer and any functionality in it. If you get a used trailer, in some cases, if it's a private sale, you may not be getting a warranty on anything. So you have no idea whether it's going to function properly at all. So you need to keep that in mind also. So getting a used trailer is a good idea. It can save you a lot of money, but ensure that you're not going to have to dump a lot of money into it just to get the functionality of it up and running. Okay. So number one, short and sweet video guys from number five down to number one, this is probably the most important aspect. You need to figure out how much money you can actually invest up front. Now keep in mind, food truck businesses, food trailer businesses, like any other business is a long-term goal. You don't necessarily need to get all the bells and whistles and make it look perfect up front. If there's a few things you want to alter or change over time, you can do that. So if you have a budget for a certain size or maybe a certain type of food trailer, go with that. Don't delay launching your business just because you want to have the fanciest trailer on the planet, but you can't exactly afford it just yet. Down the road, you can always alter it, you can upgrade it, you can change out equipment. Just make sure that you have the size you're looking for, the equipment and the storage, right? And make sure that obviously it's functioning and passes all the fire codes that you're gonna have to uh, also get an inspection from. And then from there, you have a great opportunity down the road to actually fix it or upgrade it, okay? So number one is gonna be what kind of money do you have available? I highly recommend you guys, this is from my own experience, try your best to use funds that you've got available. Don't take out any small business loans on a concept that you don't have any proof of yet. Meaning this, if you take a loan out for $50,000 to up, fix up a trailer, but you've never launched this business, you've never tried this particular menu, and you launch it, it doesn't go over well, you lose a lot of money. If you can pull together the funds on your own before you get a loan with interest and all that, I highly recommend you do that, okay? So check out these videos here. As I mentioned, here's some three additional resources for you guys to start your food trailer business. And if you have any questions on starting a food truck business or food trailer business, let us know down below, guys. There are a brand new channel here. We're trying to get additional subscribers as well. If you've got any great questions, let us know. We'd love to build out some video content for you as well. I'll see you on our next video.